All right, so what we just looked at was we looked at multiple steps and we looked at multiple steps like if we were tossing a coin once and then tossing it twice, there's multiple steps there. There's the first step, which is the first toss and could have two possible outcomes. And then there's the second step, which is the second toss, which could have two possible outcomes. And if we did a third step, which would be the third toss, it could have two possible outcomes. And what we learned is that if there's multiple steps, uh, we're doing this thing where we multiply the number of possible outcomes at each step. So two outcomes on the first step, two on the second step, two on the third. We multiply each of the outcomes on each step together. And then that tells us how big our sample space is. Hold on one second. I'm just going to shut the door here. And uh, just making sure I'm recording. Cool, still recording. So the next thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at combinations and permutations. Before we jump into that, though, I want to show you ChatGPT's definition of all of this. And also just to show you that adults don't always like have everything clearly delineated, defined, logically or, uh, organized and structured. The ontological structure that adults create can be different even in the same domain. So ontology, 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 uh, if we look at that and look at images, one of the definitions of ontology is how are things connected and related. And so you can see there's different diagrams thing here showing how ideas are uh, connected and re related. And you can pause right here and read the definition of ontology. It's a super cool word if you want to hear how to pronounce it. Well, I'm, I'm saying that correctly. I have high confidence, a high, 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 yeah, high confidence that uh, the probability of me saying that uh, correctly is, uh, is high, you know. So that's, uh, that's not always something adults do well. And so in our book, we talk about this as multiple steps, but when I asked ChatGPT about it, I asked ChatGPT, please tell me about counting rules, including multiple steps, combinations, and permutations in statistics, because that's what's covered in the book. Please also correct any errors I made in the terminology. Please also provide examples to illustrate counting rules and statistics. And it says counting rule for multiple steps. That's the book's terminology. But then ChatGPT says, hey, this is the multiplication rule. And when an experiment or process involves multiple steps or stages, the total number of possible outcomes, right? If we run an uh, experiment, we'll have an outcome. All the possible outcomes is our sample space. And then an event is a subset of the sample space. So all the possible uh, outcomes is found by multiplying the number of outcomes for each step. So here's an example. I wanna show you one more example. Let's say here's step one, step two, step three. Uh, choose a shirt, there's three options. Choose a pair of pants, there's two options. Choose a pair of shoes, there's four options. The total number of possible outfits is three times two times four, 24 different outfits. That's kind of cool. So I'm gonna stop this video here and just leave it as another example of multiple steps. And uh, I really like that example. And in the next video, we're gonna jump into permutations and combinations.